Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, I should say. It's, uh, it's about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon here on a rainy day in Dublin. Today is the 11th of June. It's uh, in the calendar of the Catholic Church. It's the uh, feast of uh, a man named St. Barnabas, who uh, was a companion of St. Paul on his first missionary journey. And uh, we read in the Acts of the Apostles, and uh, 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 mostly there, that, that he was a, a good man who was full of the Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit, and with faith. And that uh, he was one of the leaders in the church at Antioch. Um, and he's given the rank of apostle, even though he wasn't one of the original 12 whom Jesus selected uh, to be his first 12 companions. Um, he, um, he was sent, uh, as I said, he was sent on this missionary journey with Paul, and they worked closely together. And it was actually Barnabas who, who calmed the, the fears of the early Christians who, who knew that Saul was present uh, at the death of Stephen and uh, that, that he was very, uh, you might say, uh, very zealous in persecuting the Christians uh, before his conversion. So it was actually Barnabas, whose name means son of encouragement, who uh, helped to uh, bring Paul into a, uh, a greater degree of um, acceptance uh, among the early Christians who, who had their doubts and suspicions about whether his conversion was genuine or not. Um, I'd like to sing a hymn um, to start with, uh, and then I, I'll have a, a little quiz for you today. We've been doing a quiz every week for the past six weeks, and this is our seventh week, so this will be GFC Bible slash faith quiz number seven today. It's on two of the letters of St. Paul, letter, his letter to the Galatians and to the Philippians. So a few questions from based on both those letters. Lord, I lift your name on I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us To save us you came from heaven to earth To show the way from the earth to the cross My debt to pay from the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. To save us, you came from heaven to earth. To show the way from the earth to the cross My debt to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on earth You came from heaven to earth To show the way from the earth to the cross My debt to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Okay, so we'll do uh, we'll do a few questions now based on the um, the two of Paul's shorter letters, the uh, letter to the Philippians. I'm sorry, the letter to the Galatians, and then the letter to the Philippians. Okay, so question number one. Question number one. The um, <clears throat> question one. In chapter one of Paul's letter to the Galatians, he speaks about his call to preach the good news of Jesus Christ to the pagans, to the uncircumcised or the unbelievers. And in his poignant way of proclaiming his message, Paul emphasizes that this special calling he has received uh, it came from God at a very early stage in his life. When, uh, in this first chapter, when did Paul say 
that God chose him for his mission. Okay? When did God actually choose Paul for this mission, according to, to Paul himself? Question two. In, uh, in, his, in, in chapter two, uh, Paul unfolds his teaching on the principle of justification by faith, and he writes that faith in Christ, rather than fidelity to the law, i.e. the Mosaic law, is what justifies us as believers. So complete this sentence. If the law can justify us, then there is no point in. In And then he, he says exactly what the reality is that uh, it is, becomes pointless if, if salvation and justification come through the law. So question two, if the law can justify us, there is no point in fill in that blank. In what? Number three. So this, these, by the way, these questions, one, two, three, four, five, and six, each question comes from a chapter, the chapter of uh, Paul's letter that corresponds to that number of the question. So question three is based on something from chapter three. In chapter three, Paul says that by putting our faith and trust in God, we become justified and therefore receive the same blessing that was promised to the man of faith, to whom God promised, in you all the pagans will be blessed. Who is this man of faith? Paul refers to in chapter 3. The man of faith. In, in, uh, whom, in, whom, in, whose, in whose faith we participate through our belief in Jesus Christ. Question number 4. Um, Complete this sentence, which comes from chapter 4. The proof that you are sons uh, or children of God is that God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, the Spirit that cries out what? The Spirit of God cries out something, which proves that we are His adopted children. Question number 5, from chapter 5. If you... Paul says, if you are guided by the Spirit, then you will no longer be in danger of yielding to what? What is it that you will be able to conquer if you are guided by the Spirit? Question six. Wherever a man sows, there he will reap, says Paul. If he sows in the field of the Spirit, he will reap a harvest of what? Okay, so fill in that blank. If a man sows in the field of the Spirit, he will reap a harvest of. And Paul tells us what that is. Okay, now we move into the letter to the Philippians. In chapter 1 of the Philippians, Paul writes that he rejoices even though he is in chains and that his imprisonment has given encouragement to others in the Christian community to do something. To do what? What is his imprisonment? Uh, been a cause for his rejoicing in. Number Question number eight. This is based on chapter two of, of uh, Philippians. After proclaiming uh, an early Christian hymn, which is especially uh, uh, pr prominent during Holy Week and during the sacred Trity Triduum, in which Paul writes uh, that uh, Christ was humbler yet Though his state was divine, Jesus Christ emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, and though he and becoming of human estate, and he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. After that point in that letter, he then says that we should work out our salvation, and has a phrase after that. How should we work out our salvation? We should work out our salvation blank. Fill in that blank. Question nine. Paul was, of course, once a very zealous Pharisee, and he was striving to scrupulously achieve perfection from his own efforts and from, from uh, observing the law to the letter. And, but after his powerful conversion, he writes, All I want is this. Okay? All I want is this. Two things, A and B. So um, what are the things, the two things that Paul wants 
uh, as, as he no longer is striving to achieve perfection through his own efforts, uh, okay, or through adherence to, to the Mosaic Law. And then lastly, chapter, uh, in chapter 4, question 10, his last advice to the Philippians, he tells them, I want you to rejoice, to rejoice always in the Lord, and that the peace which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then he says, and then he lists seven things which the true Christian should fill his mind with. Okay? So I'd like you to give me five, uh, four, four of these seven things that Paul says the Christian should fill his mind with. And there are seven that he lists. So give me four of those seven things that Paul says we should fill our minds with. Everything that is, and then four, four of those different things he lists. Okay, so that's our, our uh, Bible quiz for today. I'll, I'll try to post some answers uh, on Saturday, which is the Feast of St. Anthony of Padua. So I'll have a special... I don't always do a video on, on the weekends, but uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll have something uh, uh, based on maybe on the Sacred Heart tomorrow, even though it's a second Friday, but every Friday is devoted in some way to the Heart of Jesus. And then on Saturday, I'll give the answers to this quiz and a, a, little, uh, a little reflection on St. Anthony of Padua, one of the most beloved saints in the entire church. And uh, so we'll finish with a, a little anth another antiphon here. Misericordias Domini in eternum cantabo. I will sing of the mercies of God forever and ever. Misericord, misericordias domini, in eternum cantavo. Misericordias domini, misericordias domini, in eternum cantavo misericordias domini in eternum cantavo misericordias domini in eternum cantavo O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to Thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to Thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to Thee. Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. Saint Paul, uh, sorry, Saint Barnabas, Saint uh, Saint Barnabas, and all you holy apostles, pray for us. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks so much for watching GFC Visions. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.